so I'm going to share with you my spring Easter tablescape this year I really didn't plan on making one but I did want to do a centerpiece for my table and just have it dressed up for each season but for some reason it just doesn't end up that way every single <laughs> season but anyway um, I can leave this just take the bunnies off for the rest of the spring and I had a lot of things already on hand that I could go with the centerpiece or the look that I was looking for so I said why not just throw together a tablescape so let me share with you um, what exactly I did this time so starting with the table itself I did not put a tablecloth I don't have I have more so of white then there are some creams in there but I do have an ivory tablecloth and I just said I'll just use my use the natural table I do have a leaf in this table I have used the leaf since Thanksgiving and Christmas that I showed you guys but I did not I haven't the years before so that's why I decided to go ahead and do four of the baskets instead of three three probably would have been fine but I guess I just wanted to have that dramatic wow effect so that's why I did four and I will make sure I will link that DIY video of the centerpiece in the description box below and also the card above so you can check that out in that video I did forget to add the votive candles and the candle holders and all I simply did guys was and I hope I don't mess up is I put some filler down in there from Dollar Tree and just set the candle on top because I'm not gonna keep it there um, permanently and that was it so and I have one in each one so the runner itself came from Walmart I had it from that rustic wedding if you haven't seen that video it, I know it's in a wedding playlist, but I'll make sure I put that card above as well. And it's $5 and some change. It's really long because I actually had to tuck the ends under because I didn't want to cut it in case I needed it for something else. But it's in the wedding section at Walmart. And I knew I could use that to go with the ribbon or coordinate somewhat with the ribbon from Dollar Tree. Okay, so now the play settings, you guys have seen these many of times before and they're just the placemats from the target one spot and I really need to up my silverware game which I will do one day <laughs> up my silverware game and then I finally finally um, found the chargers and I don't remember which haul that I showed that I think it was in the end of a grocery haul and I finally found the white chargers that Dollar Tree had and these are the better homes and garden plates that Dollar Tree had I think one summer I believe I think it was one summer that they had for a dollar and these white plates they have all the time the saucers are from Dollar Tree the white napkins I showed in a I believe Christmas time or either no it was for fall for Thanksgiving and these napkins they are at Walmart and they come in a two pack for like a dollar and some change almost two dollars the little adhesive ginger ham here actually came from the Target One Spot last year and it was $3. So you get four or six in a pack. No, you get four in a pack because I had to open up another pack. And that's it. So all of that is just about from Dollar Tree or the Target One Spot except um, the napkin itself. The bunnies, I thought I'd add those to the table. Of course, Jesus is the reason for the season, but I thought it would be cute to add in with this um, theme here. And I have three bunnies. The other bunny is somewhere, and they're all a little different, but they came from the Target One Spot. I picked up two last year, one this year, and um, my mason jar, I just get right over that. I decided to put a mason jar here. These are from Dollar Tree as well. Instead of using um water glasses or the wine glasses i thought i would use that because of the thing now on the end here i also was looking at these plates these chargers i'm sorry from let's see if i can take it off the chargers from michael's so these were 60 percent off or 65 percent off so i only pay like a dollar and some change for 
those not a whole lot for those and I only picked up two of those so I said I can put them at the ends of the table and then I've used these before as well in a tablescape and these came from the Habitat Humanity store they were in a pack of four I believe for like two dollars and some change the little stand here cupcake stand is actually from the Target one spot and they are a dollar and the cracked glass votive candle is from Dollar Tree I had one of them I thought it was cute to pick up and then I said you know what I'm going to put that on the tablescape so last night I picked up another one um, to put at the other end so moving over here I don't know exactly if I'm going to use the same setup but I just wanted to go ahead and complete the entire dining room for the food setup so we're having I don't know if you I'm gonna upload that grocery haul but we're gonna have ham meatloaf string beans cabbage yams potato salad and rolls a dump cake it's JJ's birthday so we're gonna have a cake and I don't know what we're drinking <laughs> don't know what we're drinking yet um, probably lemonade or tea or something or whatever so I put these two galvanized um, stands here at the end and because I wasn't using them in the kitchen here's another runner and the runners are really long so I did have to cut the other one but I didn't want to cut any more because you know you don't never know you might need it for something else these easels I picked these up last year from the Target one spot I don't think two years ago but they were a dollar each I wish I picked up more and they are chalkboard easels so I can label whatever's that's going to be here and then I have used these in other places and just stuck this here um, this is actually from the wedding when I did that bouquet so Faith got these I believe from AC Moore the greenery and it's really pretty so I just stuck that there and the runner I put two charges there target one spot cake stand and then also the Easter's from Target one spot from last year and this is familiar as well this is from Target one spot and I just wanted to I was just gonna put tulips on one side and I said you know what I got one similar it's not the same but I'll put some tulips over here and then I'll put some tulips over here and this one was from the Target one spot this year I put another tear stand here and then I brought out my galvanized drink stands from AC Moore and then that leftover runner that was over here I cut this side here and I just threw this across and then this is as well from the Target one spot to put maybe some napkins in or some silverware so I might pick up some I probably already have some some plastic silverware or well silverware on the table so I just said this here because I don't get a chance to use it a lot but napkins will be great in that so that is it guys it was really fun putting this together it was something different than I normally do it looks feminine it looks rustic but I really like it and I like the fact that other than the little details making sure you get your silverware out your drinks out making sure there's no spots on your glasses um, other than that it was really easy really simple I really didn't put a lot of brainstorming thought in it so once you start building upon what items that you are buying each and every year then you can just recreate something different even with those items that you already have something totally different something totally new with a whole total different um, idea so guys, thanks so much for watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great and happy Easter and a spring break for us. So I'm so, so glad. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.